you're going to be provided with a flask with some sodium hydroxide on it. The approximate concentration is written on the flask, but you'll need to look at the board for the actual concentration to use in your calculations. It will be the same concentration for each of your trials of the sodium hydroxide. Before you begin, you can assume that your um, burette is clean enough that you don't need to use distilled water, but you're going to use a small amount of the sodium hydroxide to rinse out any potential camp contaminants that are in there. Place a funnel in the top of the burette and then just put a few milliliters from your flask into the burette. Now before you pour, you're going to want to make sure that that stopcock is closed. It needs to be horizontal. It's best to do this over a sink. Then you will remove the funnel and tip the burette back and forth a little bit, turning it as you do so that you can rinse out the length of the burette. After you do this, drain a little bit into the sink and then dump the rest out so that you can fill it with fresh sodium hydroxide. Before you begin, you're going to need to fill your burette. Once you have filled it with the funnel, you need to remove the funnel from the top so that you don't have continuing liquid dripping down and changing your volume. Make sure that your volume is between 0 and 10 milliliters so that you have plenty of liquid to use for your titration. Before you begin the titration, you're going to need to make sure there are no air bubbles. Check the red itself and the bottom. Um, Notice that there is an air bubble. This, the presence or absence of an air bubble can change the measurement that we have on our burette. So we want to make sure before we start that the air bubble is gone. Take one of the small beakers from your drawer, place it underneath the burette, and then open the valve for just a second to make sure all the bubbles come out. Check again to make sure that you're still above the 10 milliliter mark before you proceed. You only need to use a little bit of this sodium hydroxide in order to uh, clear out the bubble. Make sure you don't do this into your flask. Burettes can be difficult to read, so you may need to adjust the height so that the level of the solution inside is at eye level for you. Depending on whether the markings on the burette are black, white, or some other color, you may want to have a background that contrasts so that you can easily read. I find it helpful to get the lines that go all the way around the burette to overlap with one another to know that I am looking at the measurements straight on. Remember to read at the bottom of the meniscus and remember that the numbers go from low numbers at the top to high numbers at the bottom. Record the measurement in your lab manual to two decimal places. When you are done using your burette, empty them Rinse them several times with deionized water, allowing the deionized water to flow through the open stopcock. Leave the stopcock open, turn the burette upside down, and reattach it to the burette stand so that it will be ready for the next class.